Every week, I meet someone from a new career path to find out what it takes to work in that industry. This week, I'm with our very own nutritionist, Chris. Welcome back to our latest video, All on Careers Talks. I'm joined here today by my fellow colleague, Chris Bradbury. Hi, Chris. Thank you for joining us today. Hi, Harry. How are you? I'm very well. You right? Yeah, I feel like I'm good, thank you. So, are you ready to tell our audience a little bit about yourself, please? Yep, so my name's Chris Bradbury and I currently run the fitness programme here at the Grand. Yeah, brilliant. And I used to work, run Don't Sit, Get Fit in the schools around Dartford and Gravesend. Oh, okay. What is Don't Sit, Get Fit? So it was uh, a after-school club where we talk about nutrition and exercise for an hour and trying to get families involved in making healthier choices and being as active as they possibly can. Oh, that's really good. That's mm. made such an amazing project. Um, what is it you do as your job role here? So what type of things do you do day to day as part of your job? So day to day, um, what I do is uh, I do quite a lot of programming for the fitness classes. Yeah. Uh, trying to make sure that they're uh, eligible for every type of age bracket and age group. And then I also try and program and speak to other families about their lifestyles. Oh, okay. So we do a family fit program as well on a Monday and Thursday. And I run that for 45 minutes. Brilliant. And we talk to the kids about nutrition. We try and jump that in whilst they're playing their games. We try and include it in the games as well. And we try to make them aware of being healthy and as healthy as they can be, not just exercise, but also snacking and definitely. stuff like that. And that's really important at that age. It is, it? absolutely, yeah, definitely. About. What do you enjoy most about your job role? So what's the one thing you really enjoy about it? Oh, I, I love seeing people succeed. So I oh, love people amazing. achieving things that they thought they might not be able to. Of course. So like yeah. kids saying, oh, do you know what? I managed to eat my five a day, for oh, example, oh, which that's is that incredible. incredible government standard. Yeah. Or they say I've managed to go an extra uh, walk a day or amazing. they've done something different to achieve something which they've thrived upon. So they'll tell their parents, oh, I was at school today and I had extra vegetables for my dinner. Yeah. Or it's just seeing... And like members and people that turn up and rock up you just see them thrive through doing fitness oh, and through just incredible. enjoying it yeah. even though sometimes it can be quite hard of course, we know that yeah. but you've got to make it hard for them to succeed and That's enjoy it. it and it's rewarding isn't it seeing their progress oh, and how much they've come like massively. over the time they've been coming and so. I remember I had a, a message a while back from a family who I saw almost from the very beginning of my program about 11 years ago yeah and they've changed massively wow, everything that's incredible so. just to see that in itself isn't absolutely it? yeah, yeah well done that's amazing Chris. no worries um so what sort of training did you have to do to get to your uh, career path that you're in now so um to do the don't say get fit i had to go to university and i, I studied exercise nutrition and health brilliant up in yeah. lancashire and then i kind of focused my third year on pediatrics and trying to help kids, uh, mainly I tried to attack the childhood obesity pandemic that's going on. Of course, um, yeah. So I kind of, that was my kind of theory basis, yeah. what I based everything on in my third year. And then in terms of the fitness side of things, I got a CrossFit level one back uh, about five years ago. Oh wow. And I've just been yeah. coaching ever since all these classes. So that's how I can adapt it here. And then we've got the backing of the guys at NWK to um, help out if needed, if we need any extra equipment or whatever. Oh, which that's is great. fantastic, that's really good. Um, um, what advice would you give to young people who are watching this today and perhaps want to get into this career field in the future? Definitely look into your degree, yeah. whatever you fancy. I, I would recommend university because it's just a way, a way of kind of opening your eyes to different um, places around the world. I travelled to Preston, Lancashire, wow. four hours away, yeah. really got away from the family, <laughs> uh, which was fantastic and I love that. Um, but I maybe should have thought about what my career would have been, maybe gone to like dietetics, which is a little oh, okay. bit more yeah. um, funded. It's kind of a bit more of a, you get more backing from the government. And then with the level one, the CrossFit stuff, it was just a matter of, uh, I did the course, which was a weekend. Brilliant. Um, and then it kind of got me into the coaching side of things. It's just experience from then on. Brilliant, that sounds really good. Thank you for sharing that advice. That's really useful. Um, what is your biggest accomplishment to date? I would probably say uh, marrying my wife. Oh, that's lovely. Definitely. It took me 15 years to get oh. a ring and get sorted, so definitely my biggest oh, compliment. That's yeah, yeah. Compliment. Congratulations, Chris. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Um, and final question of the interview, very fun one. What is your favourite Disney movie and why? Lion King. Yeah. Always. Always. Uh, why? Because it has uh, everything to do with what a lifestyle is all about. So it's got the emotion, it's got the fun, it's got the kind of anger, it's got the, it's got everything to do with just how someone's life could go. 
really, um, all included in one. <laughs> all included in one amazing movie. In the circle of life. <laughs> and that's the cartoon version, not the new animated. Gotcha. Okay, got to be the classic. Got to go with the classic. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today, Chris. It's My been pleasure. great having you. And thank you all for watching at home. We hope you've enjoyed, and we look forward to seeing you next week with our next episode.